Phil Hartman of uh, Saturday Night Live, soon to leave Saturday Night Live. Yeah, this I don't think is the right move, but okay, listen, he's got to do what he's got to do. And you are so multi-talented. I'm about to talk to you about Pee Wee Herman, but first, these are all of the accents that you uh, do. You do a lot of them. You're you're like the Sid Caesar. I don't see Japanese up there. Do you do Japanese? Yes. How does that go? Did you know? Did you make the game? It is a pleasure to be here, Mr. Stern. And then German is what? Well, it's wonderful to be here, Howard. I'll be back. Right, that's good. Uh, French? You know, it's an amazing thing to be here. I love you so much, Howard. Your hair is beautiful, look. Yes. And uh, Russian? Uzbekoi, she idiot. Why don't you? And Brooklyn? I gotta tell you, it's terrific to be here, Howard. <laughs> and Cockney? Um, Cockney is, um... I that's right, Mike. If you want to speak like Michael Caine, you can only say a few words at a time. <laughs> And now uh, this is interesting. Scottish? I don't have to take that from you, Howard. Uh, that's a good one. And Eskimo? Puklak, get out there and kill that seal. And uh, finally, uh, I, you do an impression of me or no? Mm -hmm. you, you do. Robin, what's with this guy? <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, actually. <laughs> now, were you shocked when you saw that Pee Wee Herman had been arrested in a Sarasota movie theater? Masturbating <laughs> behind, yeah. uh, I, I guess he was sitting behind some people or something. Or they, yeah, I mean, I was. Were you shocked? Well, I was shocked it didn't happen in a McDonald's or something like right. that. But you're, you're a good friend of Pee Wee's, right? Yes. So, how, what do you make of this? I mean, to me, this is unusual behavior. I know a lot of people have excused it, but I still have not excused this behavior. I, you know me, I thought uh, uh, Pee Wee deserved a uh, prison sentence over this. <laughs> yeah, I really did. I wasn't well, kidding. Yes, it's deviant behavior. I have gone to porno <clears throat> theaters, and uh, quite frankly, I would not want someone behind me uh, yeah. making love like that, and, and perhaps God knows what would happen to me, uh, to the back of my head. I don't know. I, I was not interested in that. So I, I think that really uh, it's unusual for a big celebrity like that to do something like this. And you called him afterwards? No, uh, I, I've never discussed it with him. Never? No. But you've spoken to him since the incident? Yes. I, and casually, you never say, gee, Pee Wee, uh, it's very unusual that uh, something like this would happen. In I truth, mean, I've spoken with him a few times since the incident, and, and what happened was I did the Costas show, and, and Costas asked me about Paul Rubens. And, right. and I, it wasn't in our pre-interview, and I spoke about him, and Paul called me, and we had been estranged for... It's really since I started Saturday Night Live. Estranged? Yeah, just not talking. Really. Well, uh, for any particular reason? Um, You're at odds with him, aren't you? Yeah. Why? Um, because you felt you helped develop the Pee Wee Playhouse and you never received credit or money for it. Is that correct? Well, that's part of it, yeah. It is. Yeah. You were one of the creators of that. Yes. And Pee Wee took that show, took it to CBS, made a lot of money off it, mm -hmm. and you felt that, hey, wait a second, where am I in this? Well, all of us who created the original stage show that that was an HBO special It played at the Roxy Theater in the summer right. of 81. We had a contract that said that we get 3% of whatever happens with this show. Right. And then I went on and I co-wrote Pee Wee's Big Adventure with Paul and right. I worked with him on that. Uh, and uh, A huge movie. Yeah. And, and, and then he decided to do the TV show and all of us were out. out. And you certainly were a creator of all of this. Yes, I created the Captain Carl character. I wrote a lot of the scenes. And you uh, called him probably and said, hey, Pee Wee, what's the deal? Uh, Paul, what's the deal? Well, in truth, I didn't. Your agent did? Nobody did. Nobody did? Nobody, nobody never spoke challenged about him about it. I see. You but, didn't feel comfortable. But, but you certainly could have legally. You could have taken him yes, to court. Yes, I could have. Him. Yes. But you and a lot of people have. I would have taken that son of a gun to court. He wouldn't know what hit him. He would have been tied up in litigation for the next 10 years. <laughs> I'm not as giving as uh, Phil Hart. <laughs> So you, but, you know, the truth is, everybody was in love with Paul Rubens and, and, and his talent, and I still remain a, a great admirer of his. Right. And he, he was such a gifted performer. Pee Wee was just one of several fully realized characters that, that he did. And he called me recently, after not speaking to him for several months, right. and he said, you know, I just wanted to say I've never acknowledged you know, your success, and I wanted to congratulate you. Oh, no. Really well, nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, hey, listen, uh, how about acknowledging Pee Wee with a, a couple of dollars for creating that, that Pee Wee's Playhouse? That's more of an acknowledgement. I'll, I tell you, I'd rip his throat out. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, you're very nice about that. So now you are not estranged from him anymore. You would well, feel comfortable seeing him. The lines of communication have been open. He's going to be upset that I mentioned him at all. Oh, on this show. I brought uh, it up. Phil, you have yeah, nothing to worry about. I had, it wasn't 
It wasn't pre-planned, Pee Wee. No, yes, it was, Pee Wee. And, 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 Pee Wee, put that thing down and watch the movie. Exactly. God knows what Pee Wee's doing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.